the return to work and in Manchester a new way of commuting. Roads are being given over to cyclists and pedestrians, safer than crowding together on public transport and a win for the planet. New research shows carbon emissions dropped 17 million tonnes a day at the peak of the global lockdown to levels last seen in 2006. Instead of the priority being the economy, whatever that is, the priority should be how we all want to live and what we want to make a better world to live in. And, and it's, it's so much nicer. This, cycle, this is the nicest cycle ride I have ever done to work. The economy's got to run. People have got, still got to use their cars occasionally. I mean, I can't bring a wardrobe back from Ikea on my bike. By the end of April, the total reduction in carbon emissions as a result of the pandemic was estimated to be just over 1 billion tonnes. That compares to the total for 2019 of 37 billion tonnes. Surface transport, such as car journeys, accounted for 43% of the fall. Emissions from industry and power, another 43%. Aviation, the industry hardest hit by the coronavirus, actually accounted for just 10% of the drop. The drops in emissions we see now, they're unlikely to last and they won't do much at all. I mean, in fact, nothing to slow climate change. We really need a much larger efforts to really move away from uh, fossil energy, transform everything into renewable energy and use less energy in the future. Despite the lockdown, the atmosphere is still on course this year to reach the highest carbon dioxide level in two million years. If economic activity restarts in mid-June, carbon emissions for 2020 will be 4% lower than last year. Barely a blip in the long-term upward trend. It shows just how much the economy needs to be transformed to cut out carbon for good and hold back global warming. Even individual things that people do, like not driving or not flying so much, although it has some impact, you need to change things at the system level. The whole thing needs to change to get away from using fossil fuels if we want to seriously have an impact on the build-up of CO2 in the atmosphere and stop it building up. Governments are now rebooting their economies and there's a choice. Look back to fossil fuels or forwards to jobs that could come by investing in green growth. Thomas Moore, Sky News.